Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show quarterfinals. We have Newton North High School here. <laughs> Taking on Chelmsford High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Today's matchup is the second of our quarterfinal rounds. We've got a handful of teams left, and the competition is riveting. Uh, the goal is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. And today's quarterfinal matchup has Chelmsford High School taking on Newton North High School. Let's meet the teams. Uh, on the Chelmsford team, we have Alicia Evan. Aditya and Jamil with alternates Rupesh, Michael, and Richard, and of course the coach Craig Vitali. <laughs> Chelmsford High School. And from the Newton North team, we have Sam, Paris, Andrew, and Max. Alternate Louis and coaches Gregory Drake and Albert Cho. Nice round of applause for the Newton North squad, the Tigers. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, so am I, and good luck. In 2015, Republicans grilled what former Secretary of State for nearly 11 hours in the hearing of the House Benghazi Committee? Yes, Max. Hillary Clinton. Yes, what historic town in the heart of England is the birthplace of William Shakespeare? Yes, Paris. Stratford-upon-Avon. Yes. Uh, what West Indian slave was one of the first people to be accused of witchcraft during the Salem witch hysteria of 1692? Tituba is the answer there. Uh, famous for their distinctive clicking sounds, the Khoisan languages are native to what continent? Yes, Andrew. Africa. Yes. Take a look at your screens. You will see a picture. Now, this portrait of a local postman was painted in 1888 by what Dutch artist while he was living in France? Yes, Adithia. Rembrandt. No, New North. Yes, Andrew. Van Gogh. Yes. Uh, what Sanskrit word refers to an electronic image that represents a particular person in computer games or internet forums? Yes, Aditya. Avatar. Yes, who popularized the story of the pilgrims with his 1858 narrative poem, The Courtship of Miles Standish? Yes, Aditya. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Yes, in 2015, officials announced plans to close what aging nuclear power station in Plymouth, Massachusetts? Yes, Andrew. Pilgrim. Yes. Which Major League Baseball team has lost the most World Series championships? Yes, Adithia. The St. Louis Cardinals. No, Newton North. You want to take a shot? The New York Yankees, who, by the way, have also won the most uh, World Series. All right, take a look at your screens again. Uh, the next question is a video question, and here it comes. Hi, I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. Here's my question. Every year, one in six Americans comes down with food poisoning. What ten-letter word refers to a genus of bacteria that causes a common form of food poisoning as well as typhoid fever? Yes, Adithia. Escherichia. No, Newton North, you want to try. Salmonella. 
is the answer there. We'll move on. Uh, what chemical that is used in the manufacturing of plastics and fertilizers is known as NH3? Yes, Evan. Ammonia. Yes. What Midwestern U.S. city is named after a Roman general who saved the city of Rome from destruction and then quietly retired to his farm? Yes, Max. Cincinnati. Yes. What is the only industrialized country in the world that does not mandate paid maternity leave? Yes, Evan. United States. Yes. Which of the following is an antonym for the word zealot? Is it A, misfit, B, skeptic, C, teacher? Yes, Evan. Skeptic. Yes. Math question. What is the mean value of the numbers 6, 11, and 7? Yes, Evan. 8. Yes. In 2015, what NBC News anchor was suspended for embellishing an account of his experiences during the Iraq War? Yes, Evan. Brian Williams. Yes. In The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, what character introduces himself as the narrator of the novel? Yes, Sam. Death. Yes. What is the deepest canyon in the United States? Evan. Grand Canyon. No, Newton North? Yes, Paris. Hell's Canyon? Yes. What American physicist famous for his diagrams of interactions between elementary particles was a key member of the panel that investigated the Challenger space shuttle disaster? Yes, Adithia. Stephen Hawking. No, Newton North. You want to try this one? Yes, Paris. Richard Feynman? Yes, that is correct. Uh, during the 18th and 19th centuries, Tammany Hall was the powerful executive committee of the Democratic Party in what U.S. city? Yes, Andrew. New York City. That is correct. Which of the following metallic elements can be liquid at or near room temperature? Is it A, gallium, B, manganese, C, barium? Yes, Max. A. Gallium. That is correct. At the young age of 43, what liberal politician was elected the new Prime Minister of Canada in October 2015? Andrew. Justin Trudeau. That is correct. Uh, the nursery rhyme, The Muffin Man, mentions what street that is home to London's oldest theater? Yes, Alicia. Drury Lane. Yes. In March 2015, NASA revealed evidence of a saltwater ocean locked under the icy surface of what large moon of Jupiter? Yes, Sam. Europa. No, Chelmsford, you want to try? Yes, Adithia. Ganymede. Yes. Here comes a math question. A box contains eight red pens, seven blue pens, and six green pens. In lowest terms, what is the probability of randomly selecting a pen that is neither red nor green? Yes, Evan. One third. Yes, one in three or one third. At least 1.7 million people, nearly a quarter of Cambodia's population, were killed under what radical communist regime that ruled Cambodia from 1975 to 1979? Yes, Evan. The Khmer Rouge. Yes. What is the brightest star in the night sky? Yes, Evan. Polaris. No, Newton North. You want to try? Yes, Sam. Alpha Centauri? No, Sirius is the answer there. I stood in Venice on the Bridge of Sighs, a palace and prison on each hand. What English romantic poet wrote this in Child Harold's Pilgrimage? Yes, Andrew. Lord Byron? That is correct. In 1917, what St. Petersburg Palace and former home of the Tsar was stormed by the Bolsheviks? Yes, Evan. The Winter Hermitage. We'll take it. Emotions and Make It Happen are hits by what singer with 18 number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100, the most of any solo female artist in history? Yes, Max. Mariah Carey. That is correct. Formerly known as Fulton's Folly, what ship was launched on the Hudson River in 1807 as the first successful steamboat venture? Yes, Alicia. The Fulton? No, Newton North. You want to try this one? The Claremont is the answer there. What New Orleans novelist wrote Interview with a Vampire? Yes, Paris? Truman Capote? No. Chelmsford, you want to try? Anne Rice, uh, the answer there. Uh, what synonym for traitor is named after a Norwegian army officer who collaborated with Nazis during World War II? Yes, Paris? Quistling. Yes. In 1927, sculptor... Gutson Borglum was commissioned to build what? South Dakota Monument. Yes, Adithya. Mount Rushmore. Yes. Uh, Bengal is a historical region located in India and what country to the east? 
Jamil. Bangladesh. Yes, in 1881, President James Garfield was assassinated by what former supporter who was angry about being passed over for an ambassadorship? Yes, Paris. Charles Gateau. Yes. Uh, during the Spanish Civil War. Oh, and that's the bell ending round one. The score right now, Chelmsford High School, 140 points. Newton North, 160. We've got a good round here. All right, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we take a break, a breather. We get to know the contestants just a little bit better. And I have a question each of you will have to answer. So here we go. We'll start with Chelmsford High. If you were running for president of the United States, who would you pick as your running mate and why? Alicia, you go first. Um, Emma Watson, because she's smart. She knows how to work well with others, and we need a female VP. Wow. All right, Evan? I would choose Obama and then resign just to see the conspiracy theories that people come up with as to how he got a third term. <laughs> Adithia. Um, I guess I'd pick Ralph Nader just so he'd finally get a chance. <laughs> okay. Jamil. Pick Bill Belichick because he calls good plays and he'd never leak any confidential info during press conferences. There you go. Uh, over to Newton North, Sam. Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite because he campaigns well. <laughs> Paris. Uh, Morgan Freeman because he could basically give speeches for me. What a voice. What a speaker. Andrew? Frank Underwood from House of Cards. Yes. He has a lot of experience, and he's very authoritative. Knows his way around a fake Washington. Uh, Max? Um, Leslie Note from Parks and Rec. She'll bring experience and energy. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason nobody chose me? <laughs> uh, I'm very available, by the way. All right, we're going to go head to head. Here's the way it works. And you know, one member of each team will come forward. Uh, Chelmsford High, who's it going to be? Evan. Uh, Newton North, who do we have? Paris, Evan, Paris, head-to-head -head time. Come on, let's go. All right, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I've got Paris from Newton North to my left. I've also got Evan from Chelmsford High School to my right. You guys can shake hands. It's all good. It's all good. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, incorrect answers will cost you 10 points, and you can buzz in at any time, and the clock is set at 90 seconds. Gentlemen, good luck, and here we go. After 35 years, in 2015, what country announced the end of its one-child policy? Yes. China. Yes. Malcolm and Duncan are characters in what Shakespeare? Macbeth. Yes. Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species was published in what century? Yes. 19th. Yes. In 1635, what country colonized Martinique and Guadeloupe? Yes. France. France is right. In October 2015, who was elected the new U.S. Speaker of the House? Paul Ryan. Yes. In Greek myth, who fell in love with his own reflection of the waters? Narcissus. Yes. In the Superman comic book series, Clark Kent is a reporter for what fictional newspaper? Yes. Daily Planet. Yes. Who was the first democratically elected president of post-apartheid South Africa? Nelson yes. Mandela. Yes. Which planet in the solar system has a moon named uh, Deimos? Yes. Mars. Yes. In the Harry Potter films, uh, what actress plays Hermione Granger? Yes. Emma Watson. Yeah. The left bank and right bank neighborhoods of Paris are divided by what river? Yes. Seine. Yes. Uh, what Venetian merchant wrote about his travels to China in a book called Marco yes. Polo? Yes. Name the smallest U.S. state by land area. Rhode yes. Island. Yes. Who was the only person to serve as president of the Confederate States of America? Yes. Jefferson Davis. Yes. Who exposed the conditions of the meatpacking industry in his 19? Yes. Captain Sinclair. Yes. Name the tallest mountain in Massachusetts. Mount Greylock. Yes. Martin Luther King Jr. and Bobby Kennedy, both assassinated in what year? 1968. Yes. What five-letter word refers to a gemstone made from fossilized tree resin? Amber. Yes. Name the author of the epic poem, The Wasteland. Oh, <laughs> my. Uh, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round. How about it? Chelmsford High School, 240. <laughs> Newton North, 240. A tie on High School Quiz Show. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Guiding Light, Try, Try Again, E Pluribus Unum, Picture This, Sweet Home, Alabama, and Yes, We Can Can. Uh, each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to have to get your answer. Now, since the score was tied heading into the category round, we had a coin toss. Newton North, you won the toss. You get to pick the first category. What's it going to be? 
Sweet Home Alabama, please. Sweet Home Alabama. Questions about famous people from Alabama. For 10 points, who was known as the first lady of civil rights for refusing to give up her seat on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama in 1955? Yes, Andrew. Rosa Parks. That's correct. So you've got the Board Newton North category. Sweet Home Alabama. For 15 points, in 1963, what segregationist governor promised to stand at the schoolhouse door to bar black students from entering the University of Alabama? Wallace. Yeah. Wallace. Wallace is correct. So, Chelmsford, you've got control of the board. Category? E pluribus, you know. New category, questions about Latin phrases, and for 10 points, uh, what Latin term meaning after death refers to an analysis of something after it has happened? Yes, Evan. Postmortem. Yes, you've still got the board. Chelmsford. Stick with it. Uh, e pluribus unum for 15 points. Uh, what two-word Latin phrase meaning produce the body refers to an individual's legal protection against unlawful imprisonment? Yes, uh, Jamil. Abius corpus. Yes, and you've still got the board. Chelmsford. You stick with it. Stick with it. E pluribus unum for 20 points. Philosopher John Locke used what two-word Latin phrase meaning scraped tablet to describe the mind as a blank slate at birth? Sam. Tabula rasa. Yes, that's correct. And now, Newton North, you've got the board. Category? Uh, yes, we can, can. Yes, we can, can. That's a new category in the round. Questions about dance. Uh, for 10 points, in 1960, what singer launched a dance craze across America with his cover of the R&B song, The Twist? Yes, Adithia. Um, Elvis Presley. No, Newton North. Yes, Paris. Uh, Chubby Checker. Chubby Checker is right. Newton North, you've still got the board. Category? Picture this. Picture this. New category questions about children's picture books for 10 points. Uh, what book by Shel Silverstein begins, There was once a tree and she loved a little boy? Uh, Max. The Giving Tree. That's correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Category. Guiding Light. New category questions about optics uh, for 10 points. As rays pass from one transparent material to another, they do which of the following? A, refract. B, reflect. C, disappear. Yes, Adithia. Refract. That's correct. Now you've got the board Chelmsford category. Segmented. Guiding light, 15 points. What are the three most commonly used additive primary colors? Yes, at least. Red, green, blue. That is correct. You've still got the board Chelmsford. Guiding light. Guiding light for 20 points. Isaac Newton was the first person to understand the concept of the rainbow of colors. Uh, what tool did he use to separate white light into a spectrum of different colors? Yes, Adithia. Prism. A prism is right. You've still got the board. Try, try again, please. Try, try again. Questions about successful people who had early failures. For 10 points, in 1919, who was fired from a Kansas City newspaper and told he lacked imagination and had no good ideas, but later gave the world Mickey Mouse? Yes, Andrew. Walt Disney. Correct. Now, Newton North, you've got control of the board. Stick with it, please. Try, try again. 15 points. What pop diva was dropped from three record labels before she had her first big hit in 2008 with I Kissed a Girl? Uh, Sam. Katy Perry. Of course. Uh, you've still got the board, Newton North. Stick with it. Uh, try, try again for 20 points. Before becoming an iconic thriller, Carrie was rejected by 30 publishers, finally causing what author to throw it into the trash? Yes, Sam. Stephen King. Correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Category. Uh, stick with it. Try, try again for 25 points. What young pianist was fired by choreographer Agnes DeMille for not keeping time, but later had great success as the composer of West Side Story? Evan. Bernstein. Leonard Bernstein is correct. All right, Chelmsford, you've still got the board category. Let's switch to E Pluribus Unum. We're going to switch to E Pluribus Unum for 25 points, meaning God from a machine, what three-word Latin phrase describes a miraculous turn of events in a work of fiction? Adithia. Deus ex machina. That is correct. You've still got the board, Chelmsford. Stick with it. Uh, e pluribus unum for 30 points. Directly after shooting Abraham Lincoln, John Wilkes Booth jumped onto the stage at Ford's Theater and yelled what three-word Latin phrase that means thus always to tyrants? Yes, Sam. Dixemper Tyrannus. That is correct. Newton North, you've got the board. Uh, Sweet Home, Alabama. Sweet Home, Alabama for 20 points. On April 8, 1974, what baseball legend hit his 715th home run, breaking Babe Ruth's 40-year record? Yes, Evan. Hank Aaron. That's correct. Now you've got the board Chelmsford category. Picture this. Picture this for 15 points. Uh, what 1939 classic by Ludwig Bellamunds begins? In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. Sam. 
Uh, Madeline? That is correct. Newton North, you've got the board. Yes, we can, Ken. Yes, we can, can. For 15 points, the Mambo originated in what Caribbean country that was a popular vacation spot for Americans until 1959? Yes, Andrew. Cuba. Cuba's right. Newton North, you've got the board. Sweet Home, Alabama. This time for 25 points. Who retired from the U.S. women's national soccer team in 2004 with 158 goals in international competition, the most then by any player, male or female? Yes, Andrew. Mia Hamm. That is correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Picture this. Picture this. For 20 points. Uh, what 1978 book by Judy and Ronald Barrett chronicles daily life in a tiny town called Chew and Swallow, where food falls from the sky? Yes, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yes. Newton North, you've still got the board. Category? Uh, yes, we can, can. Yes, we can, can for 20 points. What 1952 film starring Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds is widely regarded as the best dance musical ever? Yes, Andrew. Singing in the Rain. That is correct. You've still got the board, Newton North. Category? Yes, we can, can. For 25 points, uh, the 1944 ballet Appalachian Spring was choreographed by what woman whose name is synonymous with modern dance? Yes, Adithia. Martha Graham. That's correct. Chelmsford has the board. Category? Let's finish it. Yes, we can, can. For 30 points. From the French meaning spinning top, what term in classical ballet describes a dancer rapidly turning on one foot? Yes, Evan. Pirouette. That is correct, Chelmsford. Category? You've got the board. Try, try again. Try, try again for 30 points. Can't act, can't sing, slightly bald, can dance a little. An MGM director noted this in an early screen test for what future star of the film Top Hat? Fred Astaire is the answer. And uh, I believe, Chelmsford, you've still got the board. Category? Guiding light. For 25 points. Also called a negative or diverging lens. What type of lens bends light away from the center to focus on a more distant point and is used to treat nearsightedness? Yes, Jim. Concave. Yes, and you've still got the board, Chelmsford. Finish it. Guiding light, finish it. Guiding light for 30 points. The law of reflection states that the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of what? Yes, Evan. Incidents. That's correct, too. Chelmsford, you've still got the board. Picture, picture, this. Picture, this, picture, picture this. this. Picture this for 25 points. What story by Janelle Cannon is about a baby fruit bat who learns to live with birds after she's separated from her mother during an owl attack? Yes, Andrew. Stella Luna. That is correct. Newton North, you've got the board. Sweet Home Alabama. For 30 points. Uh, born in Alabama in 1891, what prominent member of the Harlem Renaissance is most remembered for her novel, Their Eyes Were Watching God? Yes, Andrew. Hurston. Yes, Zora Neale Hurston. Oh, there's the bell that ends the category round. The score right now, Chelmsford High School, 495 points. Newton North, 515 points. This is still a very close competition. I love it. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 20 points. Good luck, guys. The clock is set, and here we go. The United States officially entered World War II in what year? 1917. Yes. No, 1941. Herman Melville dedicated Moby Dick to what great friend and author of The Scarlet Letter? Yes, Sam. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Yes. What capital city officially hosted the 2012 Summer Olympics? Uh, Evan. London. Yes. Uh, protium is the most common isotope of what element? Hydrogen. Yes. Uh, Prince Henry, the navigator, was from what country? Portugal. Yes. What smash hit musical includes the songs Aaron Burr, Sir, and uh, My... Hamilton. Yes. Uh, what river has the lowest elevation of any river in the world? Yes, Adithia. The Jordan River. Yes, name the author of the cult classic, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes, Sam. Douglas Adams. Yes, who directed the documentaries Bowling for Columbine and Fahrenheit? Ye Michael Moore. Yes. Uh, in 1900, Hawaii was annexed as a U.S. territory under what American president? Yes, Paris. William McKinley. Yes, what Franz Kafka novel is about a bank clerk named Joseph? Yes. Metamorphosis. No, the trial is the answer. What soft silver white metal has the chemical symbol L-I? Yes, Adithia. Lithium. Yes, uh, what river forms most of the border between Georgia and South Carolina? Yes, Savannah. Evan. Yes, a traditional English sonnet contains how many lines? 
Yes, uh, yes. Founded in the year 618, what Chinese dynasty is associated with the cultural? Yes, Adithia. Man, um, Manchu. No, Tang Dynasty is the answer. Uh, the sun primarily makes energy by fusing hydrogen. Yes, into helium. Did he get it? Yes, he just got it. Ladies and gentlemen, Newton North and a real squeaker is the winner this week with a total score of 615 points. The runner-up this week, Chelmsford High School, 595 points. What a round, what a game. Make some noise, folks. High school quiz show. Wow. Uh, okay, uh, Newton North is going to move on now to play in the semifinals, so be sure to be back here. We'll see you next week right here on High School Quiz Show. Again, make some noise for this team. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Safety insurance. Sometimes you need additional protection, especially when it comes to auto, home, and business insurance. You can ask an independent agent about enhanced coverage from safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. production of WGBH.